Hey kids, this is lesson 21 and we're really wrapping up module 5 here. Um, I normally don't do 21 with my class, so this is just going to be like, we we're winging it today. Um, the fun thing is, I mean, it's not that I don't assign it, like I'll say, okay kids, let's draw. And, you know, it's really up to the kids what they come up with. So just to kind of briefly go through lesson 21, I'll just... I'm not going to use my tools to make them perfect. I'm just going to kind of explain and show you a few of them. But I think there are like 24 task cards or something like that. And I just don't think I could make that in a video. So uh, I'll go over a few of them, maybe the first six, and then uh, I'll go over the answers on the back. So anyway, the objective here in Lesson 21 is really for you to practice drawing and then defining what those attributes would look like in a shape so uh, yeah so get your tools out and get ready to play around with your drawings now this page isn't going to do any good for me here so if you turn ahead in your book you see a couple pages ahead there's this these template cards okay and so these are the tasks and if you'll notice that there are many many tasks that you can do okay and you really should take the time like if you can get on a group call with a friend and just kind of share your drawings um, there's a lot that you could do and you want to again look at the attributes so if I leave my little notebook here so you can kind of follow along I'm just going to be looking at these tasks and I'll I'll label a couple and we'll draw some and then we'll just answer the questions for the problem set. So for example, task one. Okay, so it says draw a trapezoid with a right angle. Now you have to think about what is a trapezoid. So a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with, um, it has to have at least one pair of parallel sides and then you know that when we have one right angle, you know what happens. So let's say I was trying to draw a trapezoid like so. Again, I'm not going to use my tools because I'm just going to wing it. If I, if I close off this side, okay, and I'm preparing to make a regular trapezoid and I see, nope, task one says draw a trapezoid with a right angle, then I would have to close this side off like so. Okay, because I need to have a right angle. If you have one right angle, you're going to have two in a trapezoid, but that would work fine for this one. So task two, draw a rectangle with a length that is twice its width. So you get your tool if you have it, and you know, again, I'm not making it precise, but um, so if I make this four centimeters then the side width would be two. And so then that's gonna be your, you can hastily <laughs> draw it. Okay, and that's a rectangle. And again, I didn't very carefully check and make sure that those are 90, but it's close enough. And it's a rectangle with a length that is two times the width. So that's what these tasks are all about. Um, just kind of have to fiddle around. Draw a quadrilateral with two pairs of equal sides and no parallel sides. So it's not a parallelogram, and that's going to be right inside the quadrilateral on our hierarchy. So what does that leave us with? Well, if it's a quadrilateral and it doesn't have any parallel sides, you're talking about a kite. Okay, so that's going to be like that one, where we have two equal length sides, but... Uh, we don't have any parallel sides here. So that would fit this description. And, um, and then you can kind of go on. You can measure and do all your angles and stuff, but I'm not going to because I'm making a quick video. Uh, task four, draw a rhombus with right angles. Okay, now when you have a rhombus, again, the, the, the purpose of this activity is to make you think about the attributes of these shapes. So if you're drawing a rhombus with right angles, the, only, the name for it is a square. So a rhombus has four sides the same length. 
and if it has right angles, then it's a square. Okay, task five. Draw a parallelogram with two pairs of perpendicular sides. Now, perpendicular means when they cross, they create this right angle, okay? And if it's a parallelogram, you could have a couple choices because a parallelogram with perpendicular sides that are two pairs, it could be a square or a rectangle. There is nothing here that says we have to do one or the other, so you could have both, okay? Because this is a parallelogram, and we have two pairs of perpendicular sides, but this also works. So a square would fit that for five. And so for some of these, you're gonna have multiple answers. And for six, draw a rhombus with four equal angles. Now, I could, um, I could try to draw, oops. Okay, well, that's not gonna work there. I could try to draw this um, this rhombus, but notice what's going to happen. We're going to have obtuse and acute. Now, is that going to follow the directions? No, they're not equal. Not equal angles. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, you have to divide 360 by 4 if you want them to be uh, even. And so the only way you can get that is by having a square as your rhombus with four equal angles. So that's what this these tasks are all about. And again, there are 24 tasks, and I couldn't possibly do them in the length of a video. So now that you kind of know what to do, you should really keep your, um, your pictures handy that we created uh, a short time ago on the other video with the hierarchy here showing that quadrilaterals can be wickety whack nothing has to match no sides no parallel no angles everything else is going to have a specific qualifying attribute that makes it have that name so keep this page handy as you complete your tasks for the task cards on lesson 21. now to get back to the, um, the back side of that, because there are a couple of questions there that you need to complete, and it's going to zoom in. There we go. So let's finish this off. John says that because rhombuses do not have perpendicular sides, they cannot be rectangles, explain his error. And so again, this is just thinking through the attributes. Okay, if it's a rhombus, it can either be the rhombus like this, okay, with four equal sides like this, and we don't worry about the angles, or it would be a square, okay? So he says because rhombuses do not have perpendicular sides, he's talking about this one, they cannot be rectangles. Well, here's a rhombus, and it's also what? Square. And by definition, what is a square? A square is a rectangle. And so he's wrong because a rhombus can be a square. With four 90 degree corners or angles, those are perpendicular. And so, therefore, uh, this is a rectangle, okay? This one is, not this one. Okay, so you're, you're trying to reason or rationalize why a rhombus could be a rectangle. It can be a rectangle when it's a square. Okay, number three. Jack says that because kites do not have parallel sides, a square is not a kite. So, again, there's a little bit of an error here. So, what is a kite? A kite is a quadrilateral, okay, and so is a square. Quadrilateral. Okay, so a kite is a quadrilateral, so is a square. Okay, and for the 
attributes that a kite has, it has two uh, has two pairs of consecutive equal sides. Okay, so that would be like one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, and so these are consecutive. One and two are consecutive, three and four are consecutive. That means like in a row. Okay, so a kite has two pairs of consecutive and equal sides. Well, so does the square. And these are equal and adjacent. That's another way of describing, okay, two pairs of equal and adjacent, A, D, J, A, C, E, and T sides, okay? This is equal to this, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. And so those, those are the definitions for a kite, but a square has all that, okay? So a square has all that. and more, okay? But wait, there's more. Uh, a square also has the 90 degree angles, but a kite doesn't have to. So a kite is a square because we don't care about the angles. We're talking about the sides and a square has all that. So that is lesson 21. And so I hope this is really helpful. Click subscribe, come back. We still have module six ahead of us coming soon to a video near you. Bye.